Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I am doing a review of The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. I read this as one of my books for Space Opera September, which was created by Thomas over at SFF 180. I will link his channel in the description box below. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get whew, into the review of this. This was a tough read. The Sparrow begins with our main character, Emilio, returning from a space voyage to another solar system and he's the only surviving member of the crew and as a result of the circumstances that he is found in by a second group that's sent out to retrieve or help the original participants there are there are questions that are brought about one of the main reasons why there are so many questions is because the mission as Emilio and his participants, his crew members went on, was not sanctioned by the US. It was a mission that was put together, completely funded by the Jesuit priest association that exists in this book. Um, so the book begins in 2019 with the story of Emilio meeting the people and how they all kind of came together and got to be part of this mission and then we jump to 2060 I believe when Emilio is brought back and the inquiry that begins with the priest in charge about the mission between him and Emilio. Emilio comes back he's a very charismatic person when he leaves and when he comes back he is completely changed. He is not the person the priest that they knew him to be or that he had a reputation of being when he left. One of the things that I thoroughly enjoyed about this that I didn't know I was going to get coming into it even knowing that it was a space opera type novel. I did not expect to get so much information about the difference between traveling at light speed and the effects of traveling at light speed, light speed on the body, the difference how time passes when you're traveling at light speed versus when for those of us for those of us who want or who are on earth versus the people who are actually traveling at light speed like in the spaceship they have two clocks that are going one that's accurate for them and then one that's accurate for Earth and to see the changes in time. So when Emilio leaves, um, the time frame that he comes back is significant between when he leaves and when he come returns is significantly different on for those who experienced it on Earth than what he experienced on the other planet. So he comes back and he's younger than a dude who was a kid. <laughs> when he left and I really and I really enjoyed that portion of it that explanation of it and there's a lot of information that's shared as far as how the party does their research in trying to make themselves acclimate to this new planet that they're going to how they're going to make the, tr the space travel happen there's a whole discussion about what will be used to make that space travel happen and how they will adjust what's needed for the space travel based on what's available on earth what they can pull from in space how they make these resources happen all of that it's so for someone who does not read a lot of hard sci-fi and this is not hard sci-fi um but i don't digest a lot of sci-fi with this information through text. I digest mu much of it visually through watching movies or TV shows. So to have it in text and even though some of it I didn't understand, I was able to reread it and get a better understanding of it which was why number one it was a, a little bit of a tough read. But the other reason why it was a tough read is because there's so much that's given as far as these not just these characters but how these characters interact with each other there's this whole situation of found family that's absolutely beautiful and then also there's how these people 
are multifaceted. Like, yes, Emilio is a priest. You have some other characters who are priests, but they also have other interests. They have other lives. Emilio is also a linguist. And so as being a linguist, he's able to learn and become fluent in different languages quickly. There are characters who are from different backgrounds. You have priests who are part of this found family. You have atheists, you have agnostics, you have um, the priest or Jesuit priest, which if you don't know what that is, if I got it right, it's Jews who believe in Christ as Messiah. Then you also have a character who is a Jewish woman, as in the Torah. First five books, Christ existed, he may have been a prophet that that situation but you have all of these different backgrounds that have come together and the relationship that they are able to build with each other acknowledging that they are all from different backgrounds acknowledging that they all have different experiences and different beliefs and they still have respect for each other they still care greatly for each other they still take care of each other in this situation and they respect each other and I thoroughly enjoyed just reading that I think that is something that is greatly lacking in human humanity period but really lacking in books I think you get a lot of books where people are put together in these different kind of situations and the person who is the Christian or in this case would be the Jesuit tries to convert everybody that's in their, that's in their close circle over to their religion and these characters respect the, the place where their counterparts are and still are able to coexist with these characters and build relationships with these characters while being respectful to these characters and not dogmatically pushing their beliefs onto these characters so that these characters don't have to continuously defend why they have the belief that they have. I don't know if that what is if that is what Russell wanted people to get out of this, but that was the biggest thing that I got out of this situation. And then also the amount of guilt that Emilio ends up having, survivor's guilt, and you basically get the story of Emilio's experience that as he's relaying it to the priest who are conducting the inquiry and then you also get some of the story the story of some of the other characters who went with Emilio and you also get which I thought was very important for Russell I don't know what her spiritual background is but you get the struggle that Emilio has as he's telling this story and telling his experience and what happened to the people that he goes to this planet with and you get him struggling with his faith after years and years of being like sure of his faith then having moments of confirmation where it, his faith is strengthened and his belief is strengthened and then he gets to the point where he had every aspect of his faith and of his walk becomes a struggle and becomes difficult it makes it difficult for him to continue as someone who believes and I think that that is so real for many of us and a lot of people don't want to admit to it but it's so real for many of us who have faith who um, have a faith base and who are strong in our faith it's difficult for us to admit that we have times where we are where we struggle and to see that on the page and to see it being dealt with without blame without chastisement was fucking beautiful there's no other way that i can say it my mom's gonna watch this and be like no you're not talking about faith and then said fucking i did uh but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this i highly recommend it it is heart-wrenching i tear i didn't boohoo but i tear it up once it's heart wrenching and I highly I highly recommend it and yeah that's going to be the end of this review because I think it's gone on long enough thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good week weekend whenever you see this video peace out